great to have him back. A decade in the league, seven playoff appearances in eight years with the Packers. Clutch performer, friend of Aaron Rodgers, a Super Bowl champ with that Steeler uh, Green Bay team where they beat him, got red hot at the end of the year. Okay, so let's start with this. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been on this today is that <laughs> Justin Jefferson, who has an argument as the best receiver in the league. No he's, question. He's un, in, I mean, I love no. Jamar Chase. I don't think he's as good as Justin Jefferson. No question. Devontae Adams is great. Is he Justin Jefferson? So Ooh. he's great. So he was asked to name his five favorite quarterbacks. Yeah. And he did not put Kirk mm. in the list. Does that bother you? <laughs> Should he have? No, absolutely not. When you talk about the special quarterbacks in the National Football League, the special throwers of the football in the National Football League, Kirk Cousins is not top five. And it's no, it's no knock that you are my quarterback on my team. Like, hey, I think you are a really good quarterback, but you are not in this class of quarterbacks that he put on his list and even other quarterbacks he left off his list. So I don't mind this by Justin Jefferson at all. It's not a shot at their relationship. It's not a shot at Kirk Cousins. It's just that... These dudes right here are different. You are not different like these dudes right here, period. Do you think it would bother him a little that Aaron's on it and Kirk just had a better year than Aaron? It's a lot of, especially him being a young player, right? A lot of us has watched Aaron Rodgers for a very long time. Right. All these quarterbacks that come out of college, the Patrick Mahomes, the, the, the Herberts, all these dudes that come out, the Joe Burrows, arm talent-wise, who they compare to? Aaron Rodgers. So Justin Jefferson <laughs> has seen Aaron Rodgers spin this ball over the yard, being in the division with Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers winning MVPs. He's sitting on that sideline like, man, I wish I was Devontae Adams because 12 could spin it. So I'm not surprised at all that Aaron Rodgers is on this list because he knows and watching him that Aaron spins the ball with the best of them. Okay, so <clears throat> Joe Burrow talked about, uh, Joe Burrow came out and said, hey man, I'm close with Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. I don't think you can be a great team unless mm -hmm. you have great chemistry with your yeah. teammates. And one of my knocks I always had on Big Ben was, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't think he was close to any of his receivers. Yeah. Now, Antonio Brown was a little toxic, mm -hmm. but sometimes you have to make stuff work, Yeah, right? You got to make it work. But I don't think he had a tight relationship with a lot of these guys. He didn't. He didn't. You no, he, he didn't. I've, I've heard plenty of stories, you know, coming out of Pittsburgh that, you know, guys wouldn't even sit at the same table and have some lunch with Big Ben. You know, I mean, he wasn't he he wasn't a type teammate like that, that you wanted to be around, you know, receivers and other and other people on the team. So, you know, off the field relationships, he, he did not have that that with his. Do with you his think receivers. it hurts? I do, because number one. The chemistry that you build off the field translates on the field, you know, and even the unselfishness, you know, like you hear the stuff coming out of Buffalo, right? So now you got Josh Allen and, you know, Stephon Diggs and, you know, now you could, I got to force him to football and things like that. To know that you have receivers over there that, you know, we have a really good relationship. They're not worrying if I throw to T. Higgins. He ain't worried if I throw to Jamar Chase. We got really good chemistry, you know, off the field. I think that all that stuff matters. You know, the best football teams that I've been on is not the most talented football teams. The best football teams that I've been on are the closest football teams. Wow. You know, and the closest football teams that I was on, we went really far. We lost 18 starters the year we won the Super Bowl. But we were extremely close. Now, we you, weren't the most you, talented football team. You and Jordy team. Nelson were both on that team. Exactly. And Young Aaron, players. By the way, I could argue in Aaron's career, mm -hmm. you two were the closest he's ever been to a receiver. 100%. And you can add Randall Cobb in there. Okay. Yep. So, so by the way, yep. I remember that year. Uh, you guys were – and you were losing, but losing close mm -hmm. or winning close. And then all of a sudden you got healthy at yeah. the end. Amon Green started to emerge, yeah. and you just rolled through people. Yeah, James Starks came along, and, and yeah. we had to win our last Wasn't two James games. Was it James Starks and not yeah. Amon Green? Yeah, Maybe James, I'm wrong James on Starks came in there, and he started, he started rolling. He was healthy, so we had a little bit of run game. Yep. We had to win our last two games to get in, but it was an extremely close football so let, team. So let's go back to Aaron on yeah. this. Did you have a close relationship the first week? How did it develop? Well, me and Aaron Rodgers hit it off from day one. Okay. You know, when I first came in there, Brett Favre was a starting quarterback, right, right in 07. So, you know, I came in there. I didn't just jump in there with the ones. You know, it was <laughs> Greg Jennings and Donald Driver in there with the ones. Robert yeah. Ferguson was the number three receiver you at the time. You were out of San Jose State. Yep. So, my whole time in training camp, I was out there with Aaron. You know, and me and Aaron was going to work in training camp. And it's crazy because it's a funny story because before the first preseason game, the coach said, James, you starting for Robert Ferguson. You're the number three receiver. You going with Brett. And I said, no, I'm not. 
I told my receiver coach straight out there on the field, I am not going in there with Brett Favre. I've been out here in training camp with Aaron Rodgers. Me and Aaron Rodgers have ate lunch. We have built a relationship off the field. We have built chemistry, you know, in training camp. I'm going with Aaron. I got to show the world what I got. Brett Favre don't know me. He not going to throw the ball to me. He's been building chemistry with Greg, Donald, Robert. I don't, I'm not going in there with him. How about that? You know, and he was like, well, you're going, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> And I said, well, at least don't take me out after the starters get out. Leave me in there so I could play with Aaron. And he left me in there so I could play with Aaron, and me and Aaron had a pretty good preseason. But, again, yeah. you had a relationship. We had a relationship. Aaron that, trusted that, that, that you. That matters. Because you got to understand, a lot of these conversations that you're having off the field, they show up in games. It's been plenty of times where Aaron is on the field with me, and he was like, J.J., remember, hey, at the lunch table when we was talking about the in route, this is how I want you to run that. Like, like that, that stuff matters, whether people want, want to see it or not, or want to understand it well, or not. That stuff matters. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean, saying? Matt Edelman, Gronk Brady, yeah. tight. Kelsey Mahomes, tight. Dallas Clark, Peyton Manning. Mm. Last year, Cooper Cup and Stafford. Yep. I heard they immediately hit it <laughs> off. Yep. And, I mean, it was so crazy. Like, we would talk about stuff sitting down at lunch about just even if he looked at me a certain way. Like what? Like, J.J., if I double look at you, this is the route every time. So if he get up there and he say, green 18, green 18, I know exactly. Okay, he won't hit you and go. You know what I'm saying? But that, that, that type of stuff is not just stuff that, that you just – That stuff at lunch. That, that, that's it. And that matters. That's a good trick. Yeah. J-Mac, if I look at you twice, <laughs> that means you're okay to talk about the Jets. <laughs> so if I give you that twice there. There it is. I love that's those that inside chemistry. things. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think – Anthony Richardson didn't play much in college. Mm -hmm. What he is is a remarkable athlete. Yeah. He's not going to be brilliant year one at the line of scrimmage. Oh, you got to go through it with him, yeah. So my thing is, what he's great at, mm -hmm. he can be great at now. Yeah. Now, if he was Jared Goff, mm -hmm. or CJ, well, Jared Goff, not a mover. Mm -hmm. If Goff's not good at the pocket, he's in trouble. Big trouble. Right. But Anthony, what he's gifted at, yeah. he's gifted at now. Mm -hmm. Let him be gifted. That's it. If he ever becomes a master, like Mahomes admitted, year three, mm -hmm. everything slowed down in the pocket. Yep. Kenny Pickett was choppy early, and he started for three or four years in college. Yep. So Anthony's going to be – it's not going to be beautiful to line a scrimmage all the time, mm -hmm. but he can run. No doubt. I would play him day one. 100%. I'm putting him out there day one, let him go through the growing pains. But you just got to make it simple for him. I think the best example I could give you is how Pete Carroll handled Russell Wilson. When Russell Wilson first hit the scene, it was, hey, young fella, hey, it's boom, boom, one, two. Or move. Or get out of there and create and do what you do. That's the same thing for Richardson, right? It is one, two, right? Right now, until we grow, until we expand the offense for you, until you get more comfortable in this game because it's moving extremely fast, coverages is moving extremely fast, it's one, two, and then you be Anthony Richardson. You create. Whether that's getting outside the pocket, throwing the football, or whether that's running the football, you be you, pick up some first downs at your legs to keep Keep this drive going, but do not force the football into no tight windows. Trying to make a special throw, be you. Get out of the pocket and make it. And make you know, some, I, make I was talking about this um, about Victor Wembanyama mm -hmm. that he'll be so disruptive defensively because of his size yeah. that even if he's not polished offensively, he'll be so valuable with the defense. No doubt, it'll allow him two years to get the offense mm -hmm. right. Um, Whereas, like, Jokic wasn't a great defender, yeah. so he didn't matter much when he wasn't defined offensively. Yeah. I look at running quarterbacks. That's why I, I'm kind of out on the pure pocket guy. Mm -hmm. Caleb Williams, USC, will go to the NFL. He's going to be lost. But if you can run for first downs for yeah. about two years, mm -hmm. as you figure out the, yeah. the, the phone book. No doubt. And that, to me, Anthony Richardson, he's not going to be great at the line. Yeah. He started 13 games. Mm -hmm. Let him run and move. I, I, he's a fascinating player. Yeah, and it should be – they should have in, his, in this offense, they should have a bunch of plays where he's on the move. I mean, he should be used, you know – Pre-snap, he should be used just like Jalen Hurts is used, right? You got to account for his legs in the read option, and then you come off with some plays off the off the read option. And like I said, if one or two is not there, you take off and run it, right? But even even in the National Football League, you don't have to be Lamar Jackson. You don't no. you don't you don't you don't have to be Jalen Hurts, right? Patrick Mahomes is not a 
fast, scrambling quarterback. Not but twice he, a game. But he knows when to run. Twice Russell a game, Wilson, he burns you. Same thing with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is not Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, or these guys. Justin Fields running the football. But he knows when to choose to run to pick up yards. And he's been doing that since he was a young player. So that's the same thing for Richardson. Even in practice, I want you to get out of this pocket. I want you to step up in this pocket and use your legs. I want you to get comfortable to not forcing the football and picking up first downs with your legs because it is going to be hard for the defense to account for you. James Jones, Super Bowl champion. He's on, uh, I see him on the, you know, Craig Carton and you, you're on mm-hmm. that show all the time. And uh, you're on the guys after us sometimes. Mm-hmm. He's on our show regularly. He brings the heat. You do. He <laughs> preps it. and he brings the heat. It's great seeing you as always. Appreciate man. it, my man. Thanks for having me. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.